I am Omega Pax. I am the last of the Cybertronian historians. This is the history of Transformers. Metroplex's poor, slow, and infrequent efforts to support his brave comrades and forward the Autobot cause are never enough. Metroplex is willing to give everything he has to the Autobot cause and defend it to his last astroseconds of life. Despite all this, he's racked to the core of his being with the belief that he could and should be doing something more. It's a self-deprecating attitude that stuns many of his fellow Autobots, most of whom take immeasurable comfort in his very existence and knowledge that regardless of what evil comes, Metroplex is out there to back them up. As one of the original Titans, Metroplex's purpose was to travel to new planets and help sow Cybertronian life, sleeping in city mode until the time came to move on to the next one. Such is how he eventually worked his way to Cybertron, with Metroplex City being built around him. He would commune with the city speaker Windblade, but when the Combiner Wars began, she abandoned her duties and took up arms against the Combiners. As Windblade was attacked by automatic defenses during her siege on the Council of Worlds control tower, she heard Metroplex's voice telling her not to let this happen. After being knocked out by the Enigma-powered Starscream, she began telepathically communicating with Metroplex. When Blade pleaded for help, but Metroplex pointed out her aggressive actions and abandonment of him. As when Blade apologized, she awoke, and her city speaker link with Metroplex reactivated. Using her link, when Blade ordered Metroplex to crush Starscream with his hand, allowing Optimus Prime and Megatron to defeat the rampaging Super Combiner. In the aftermath of the Combiner Wars, Windblade and Metroplex continued to maintain a strong bond during Cybertron's reconstruction, and were both together to witness the resurrection of Trypticon. The two communed as Windblade noted from reading his systems and Spark that he had been planning to leave Cybertron. Metroplex explained his origins and announced that he would fight Trypticon himself, as he had promised Optimus Prime that he would keep Cybertron safe. Windblade attempted to stop him saying that he was too injured, but Metroplex ignored her and began approaching Trypticon. The two Titans finally engaged in combat and seemed evenly matched, but Trypticon began to gain the upper hand. Unexpected aid arrived in the form of the Titan Master, Invisary, who granted Metroplex the power to fire concentrated optic blasts, but a moment of weakness allowed Trypticon to rip out the Titan's arm. Eventually, Trypticon overwhelmed Metroplex and knocked him to the ground. Aware that he was out of time, he ordered Embissary to eject from his systems just before Trypticon jumped up and came down crashing on top of Metroplex, finally killing him. Windblade would continue mourning for Metroplex after Fortress Maximus recalled his name.